As you can see, I have a new background, but I should probably talk about rhodium. Um, rhodium is another platinum group metal, and like most platinum group metals, it's pretty much only used as a catalyst and in jewelry. Um, as a catalyst, it is used to catalyze various different reactions, such as carbon-carbon bond formation, but in everyday lives, it is mostly used in catalytic converters in cars to actually break some carbon-carbon bonds in hydrocarbons and create carbon dioxide. Um, it, uh, harmful exhaust from a car, such as nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, and unburnt hydrocarbons, um, instead of being released into the air, are uh, catalyzed by the rhodium to form, in the case of nitrogen dioxide, oxygen and nitrogen, in the case of carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and in the case of unburnt hydrocarbons, carbon dioxide, and water. Now, uh, what a catalyst does, a catalyst cannot take a reaction that otherwise would not happen, otherwise would be energetic, otherwise would use up energy, and make it so that it gives out energy. Um, what, it, what it does is that it lowers the activation energy. Let's say you have um, some gasoline in a beaker. The gasoline isn't going to suddenly burst into flame. You need to put a match to the gasoline. That is the activation energy. What a catalyst does, any catalyst, is it lowers the activation energy. So what a catalyst typically does is that it will actually participate in the reaction, but then the end product is, is, what, the, is, is what the reactant was. So that um, on a macroscopic scale, the catalyst never gets used up, even though on a microscopic scale, it is constantly being used up and then you know spit out again at the other end of the reaction, if you will. So, Rhodium, that's, that's by far rhodium's uh, most common use, and um, its use in jewelry is somewhat limited. In, its use in jewelry is mostly as a thin coating on the outside, just like ruthenium. Except unlike ruthenium, when you put a thin coating of ruthenium over a base metal, it'll look like pewter. Rhodium can make it look like silver or even platinum. And one way that experts actually distinguish between fake jewelry that is rhodium plated and the real thing, or not fake jewelry, jewelry that's rhodium plated versus jewelry that's actually made out of silver or platinum, is that the rhodium plated jewelry is actually shinier than the real thing. Um, so for my rhodium sample, given that rhodium is extremely expensive and it can some, it sometimes, it's got huge, huge market fluctuations because it's a byproduct of platinum, mining and its demand and platinum's demand aren't always the same, but so it has huge price fluctuations, but sometimes it has been the most expensive metal. So here I so I didn't get the I didn't get pure rhodium. Instead what I got is, is rhodium pla is a rhodium plated earring actually. And this I just got for a buck on eBay. I am pretty sure that it's rhodium plated. I don't see why it wouldn't be, but I have nothing more than the seller's word, so yeah.